going to talk about dandelions. Everybody knows dandelions. Extremely bitter plants. You'll find these growing in your garden too. Really, really good. The Italian community in particular has certain cultivated forms of this and the French are famous for this stuff. I haven't had time to actually select the ones that they do, but hopefully one day someone will give me one that's not quite as bitter because I find it is bitter, but it's worth going there. And if you don't want a bitter one, once you cut the top off the dandelion growing in your garden, you can do what they do to celery and things like that. So you cut the top off, you put a, um, a um, sleeve over the top like a um, no. ice cream carton, open ice cream carton over the top and it comes up and that where the sunlight doesn't get it, it won't be quite as bitter. It won't be as good for you either because it's the bitterness in these things that are loaded in calcium really, really good for us. In America in 2011, 44 million people were diagnosed with osteoporosis and lower bone densities. 44 million people. If you look at the bones of the hunter-gatherers and the primitive people, they don't have those problems. Their home bone density is a lot better than ours because they've been eating all this stuff. The American diet, they love this. They eat this butter, bucket load. They don't eat anything bitter. They don't like bitter, bitter herbs at all. And so their calcium, the calcium contained in all this stuff, we don't get. 